Hey, my name is Roger Plotho. I've been traveling to California since I was 17 years old, just as after I graduated from high school back in 1976. I've been all over the state, from the very north to the very south, all places in between. And I have even lived there for a couple of years. And I have to say that of all of the amazing places in California, maybe my favorite is the tiny little town of Locke. And so this is going to be your introduction, or if you already know about Locke, maybe some additional information about the amazing tiny town of Locke, California. As you can see on this slide, which is obviously a screenshot from Google Maps, Locke is on the western edge of the California Delta, basically where the California Bay Area begins. And the, the Delta is an amazing place, truly interesting. It's been captured over the years inside a lot of dikes and other ways to keep it from flooding, but it still feels like a whole other world. And if you haven't been to the California Delta, driven around, it's a growing wine region, but there are still really interesting places to see. And the most interesting of all is Locke. Here's a close-up satellite image of the entire town of Locke, which I provide here just to give you an, an idea of how truly small this town is. It's maybe eight to 10 square blocks. The area that we're going to talk about today and that I'm going to show you photographs of and ultimately one video is two blocks of one street. Except for a couple of the shots of some of the residential areas that are back behind the main area. It is a place where you can spend easily spend an afternoon and wander about and basically walk the entire town. Some of these shots were taken during our most recent visit to Locke in the late winter of 2023, and some were taken in prior visits, but they really give you a sense of the place. This, these are all essentially on the same block on one side of the street or the other. Very narrow street, goes one way, usually full of parked cars where there is parking available and just really interesting places where you just need to go in and wander and hopefully spend a little money because they are really part of the experience. Some brief history, Locke was founded in 1893. It was originally called Lockport. It was at the junction of Union Pacific and the Sacramento Valley Railroads. In 1915, the little Chinatown area in nearby Walnut Grove burned down. And at that point, the Chinese born citizens of that area moved into Locke. And it has been essentially a Chinese town ever since. It was named a National Historic Landmark in 1990. This is a great little pocket park in downtown, if you want to call it that, downtown lock. And I happen to know from experience that it's a great place to relax and smoke a cigar. This is a former gambling hall and now museum, also in the same downtown block area that we've been talking about. And this is the most terrifying spot in downtown lock. This wall has been leaning this way since my first visit years and years ago. Doesn't seem to be getting any worse, but obviously no better. If you wander down some of the back streets in Locke, which I highly recommend, you come to the residential area. And I will only say that it is utterly fascinating and, and worth a walk.
Okay, we're going to now get to the highlight of Locke, which is, and fair warning, the name of this bar is culturally insensitive, but it is what it is, and I'm just going to say it. It's Al the Wops. If you go onto the website, it's called Al's Place, because you know. But for those of us who who are visitors there, and for those of us who know it, it's Al the Wops, and that's what the sign says. And it is, in my humble opinion, and I, I'm not, you know, a an expert on bars, but I do love a good dive bar, and this is a great bar with a great bartender named Suzanne, who will be featured in the video coming up here shortly, and has really good food. The drinks are well mixed and generous and not expensive, but the place is amazing. It is funky. It is historic. When you walk in, the, the floor slopes away from you, and it is full of really awesome stuff on the walls, and here it comes, on the ceiling. On the ceiling are dollar bills, and you're going to see a video here shortly of how these get there, and here's all I can tell you. Suzanne is not only just one of the world's great bartenders, but she knows how to teach the trick to sticking dollar bills on Al the Wop's ceiling. Enjoy. They're with the remote. All right. So what we do, I had to put a, a piece of tape in the middle of this one because of the dog was ripped. What I usually do is I take a tack and I put it right in the middle of George's face because that's the best place to put it. Take a couple quarters. I usually use three for people that haven't done it before. Give it a little fold on both sides. Not all the way together. I want the quarters to come down, but a lot of times they won't. They probably won't with this one because this dollar is too fresh and crispy. The older ones, it'll, you know, come down. But when it rains, the dollars in here will relax because the moisture in the air. Quarter falling in here? Yeah. It's definitely happened. It's raining. But then, then I tell people it's the ghosts. And that gets something else to talk about. So you take your arm, put it straight out, hold it like this, and then... Oh. 